ladies and gentlemen, attendees of the Indonesia Brazil Business Forum. Thank you very much for this occasion. Thank you very much for the organizers. Uh, and uh, thank you very much, distinguished guests, who I understand uh, come from other parts of Brazil. And uh, today, is a, today is a Sunday, I, I, I think. I'm confused, I, I, I don't know the days anymore. Yes, sir. Because uh, I just uh, I just carry out what my 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 team tells me what to do. So so uh, I really appreciate it on a Sunday for for uh, all of you from Brazil. I understand uh, Sunday is a is a sacred day, but you you make the effort to come here and to meet us, so I'm very honored. As you know, um, Indonesia and Brazil, I think we have many common, uh, let us say, common elements between us. We are relatively big countries. We have uh, big population, we have uh, big resources, Brazil is quite advanced in its industries, we are trying to catch up, we want to industrialize, uh, and uh, I think uh, we can have a good synergy between us, we can have a good symbiotic relationship, uh, and we have common interests together. Uh, Brazil is very forward-looking, looking into the future. That's why I think uh, Brazil is a key leading member of BRICS. Uh, and uh, as you know, I announced already that uh, Indonesia has uh, has put in a request to be a member of BRICS, and uh, I I was inaugurated on the 20th of October, and I installed my cabinet on the 21st of October, and I sent my foreign minister to fly direct to Kazan for the BRICS summit, which I could not attend, but. So uh, I, th I think uh, the BRICS uh, organization with B as the, uh, the alphabet that denotes Brazil shows how Brazil is actually on the forward edge of global developments. So I applaud this and actually I already announced in 2014 when I started my, my uh, attempts at running for president of Indonesia, I did announce that when I become president of Indonesia, I will bring Indonesia to join BRICS. So that was when 20th of October I was installed. 21st, I sent my foreign minister, and we want to join Brazil and the, and the other BRICS countries. Uh, we think that this will be a significant new element in uh, the global economy. I think, uh, Mr. Ailanga, you already, you already addressed the forum today? No. no. You, Hashim, sudah. Well, uh, Mr. Hashim has already spoken to you, so I think uh, he has covered everything, so I don't need to make too many comments. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I will just give a few remarks, and I, I, I better give 
you, the floor to you so that I answer your questions. I think it's better that way, right? But anyway, in general, I think uh, I myself am very uh, optimistic. I'm bullish. I've seen the figures. I've seen the, the plans. And I have uh, focused on what I consider the strategic uh, fundamental uh, elements of a strong modern uh, country. First, I see, as every leader must see, that a country must feed its own people. There is no use to have a state, to have a republic, to have a government who cannot feed its own people. This is so fundamental. It's, it's part of my uh, belief for many years. Uh, a country must be able to feed its own people. Therefore, uh, food security is foremost in my uh, my strategy. And this is in line with the theme of the G20 summit to fight against poverty and hunger. So I am completely in line with your president's thinking and your president's strategy. Uh, growth, yes. Uh, prosperity is our goal, but there is no use for high growth if the majority of the people cannot enjoy that growth. If the wealth is only held by the very, very few, in my opinion, that is a recipe for a failed state. That is my conviction. There must be equal opportunity. The economy must not be uh, designed to keep the majority of the people poor. This cannot be. We cannot accept hunger. I say very clearly everywhere, what is the use of Indonesia being a member of the G of the G20 when 25% of our children do not have enough to eat? So that's another of my uh, strategic program: free meal to every child of Indonesia. And in this, I want also to learn from Brazil, which has already a successful program. So I have uh, asked my team to arrange with your ambassador to Indonesia. We want to send a team to study this, uh, the Brazilian uh, meal program for the school children. Our, uh, so after the food su sufficiency and the meal for the children, we are also uh, going into uh, energy self-sufficiency and uh, we are blessed as also Brazil maybe we are I, I think we are only two or three countries in the world that can be very soon self-sufficient in green energy and renewable energy I think uh, Brazil is more advanced with us, with, uh, with the use of uh, bio, biofuel, uh, energy from plant-based, and you're very successful in uh, the E or ethanol, and uh, we are going into uh, biodiesel, producing diesel from palm oil. 
We are now at 35 to 40 percent. We want to boost to 50 percent uh, by 2025. Uh, and this will make us basically uh, producing our own uh, diesel and uh, being completely green. Green renewable. We also have a lot of hydropower, a lot of geothermal power. We have a lot of, uh, of course, uh, uh, energy from the sun, yes, all. And uh, this makes us very, very bullish, very, very excited, exciting to meet the future. Uh, we also have critical minerals and uh, we plan to design and produce our own uh, nuclear reactors, nuclear reactors, so we can also work together with a Brazilian industry. Uh, in the field of fisheries, we are also uh, potential, very potential. I speak with the experts. We are, I think, maybe our reserves in fishing reserves in the world. We are number two or number three in fishing reserves, and uh, potential is very, very big. We have a need of vacuum of 40,000 fishing vessels, 150 GT to 300 GT, 40,000 of vacuum. So it's another field that uh, uh, we invite foreign uh, corporations to take part in our uh, economy. Uh, and then, of course, after all this, we want to industrialize uh, and this by uh, downstreaming our uh, resources. We are uh, committed to this, and uh, we have a strategic plan which we will carry out soon uh, in all the 26 commodities that we have uh, delineated as 26 commodities that uh, are strategic in our view, that can create uh, real value multiple times, uh, that can uh, make us more uh, involved in the manufacturing of goods, and uh, also uh, making more use of our um, maritime resources. Maritime resources uh, producing, of course, protein and uh, many, many products from the maritime resources. So we are open, uh, we are open for business. I, before being involved in politics, I was uh, also an entrepreneur, a businessman. So I, I see both sides of the picture, right? As a government, we want to we want to increase revenue tax. As businessmen, we want to look for the best tax deals. So uh, I think it, it takes an entrepreneur, a businessman, to know a businessman. Right? So we are willing to compromise. We are willing to. Uh, create a, a business climate, we need jobs, we need growth, we need technology, we value investment. So it is our, uh, we are dedicated, we are determined to create a positive business environment. Uh, we, as you know, Indonesians, many of you have been already active in Indonesia many years, Indonesians are very uh, we we like foreign guests as you know right we are very open people and uh, we welcome guests and for us a guest is uh, someone we have to protect someone that we value so ladies and gentlemen I think uh, I better not uh, continue you know the problem with politicians if they are given a chance. They will speak and speak and speak. And but uh, so, I will conclude my remarks, and then I will.
make myself available if you have any questions you want to direct to me. Thank you very much. Download Tribun X sekarang. Menghadirkan lokal menjadi Indonesia.